Hello everyone, my name is Mathis Irindil, and welcome back to my Sims 2 Crantifold Let's Play. In the last episode, we played with Nigel Rosen as he attempted to uh, marry Imana Jaldale. It did not work out, uh, not in a bad way, but we just didn't have the time to do it. Uh, but in this episode, we are going to move over to the Kennewall family on 20 Main Street and see what they're up to. All right, and here we are in the Kennewall household. Here we have Kurt Kennewall, a family sim. He is currently, if I can find his name here, he is thirty, uh, currently 32 years old. He is a family sim, like I said. He's also a Libra, which means he's a little bit sloppy, a little bit lazy, and otherwise just, you know, pretty nice, playful person. He is currently a mailroom technician. And is uh, looking for a promotion. That's really all he wants at the moment. He has a sister, Lois Kennewall, and Lois is also a family sim just like her brother, and she is 26 years old. Sable, hold on, I gotta get my cat. Hey. My cat was uh, causing mischief, but I think I got her handled for right now. But Lois here is a family sim just like her brother, She's currently unemployed. It doesn't really care about getting a job as far as I can tell. But mostly what she is into right now is she wants to find the love of her life. So we're going to go ahead and lock that in. And what we will do is prob probably take her to a community lot to see if she can find a suitable uh, guy. I think she's straight. Uh, she might be bi, but I want to see if I can find her somebody. And... There might be some people that she knows that are single that she can find, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see when we get out there. Uh, then there is Margarita Kennewall, who is Kurt's wife. Uh, she is a fortune sim and is a minor leaguer at the moment, but she wants to get a promotion, and she probably will when she gets home. Uh, she is a Gemini and is uh, fairly serious and fairly a little bit grouchy, um, and otherwise, you know, she's pretty outgoing and pretty active. Which is pretty fitting for a uh, athletic career sim. Um, and then Kurt and Margarita have a little baby who we actually need to age up right now. Well, I had to open my door just so Sable would stop being <laughs> an absolute menace. So hopefully it doesn't mess with the audio too much. But anyways, Yosef's birthday. And he should at any moment now. Is this the age thing? No. He should at any moment now turn into a toddler. Yes. Here we go. Blow out the candles and throw them up in the air. Throw him up in the air, and there we go. Yosef is now a toddler. So that's cool. I do need to find the... Sorry for my squeaky chair, well, as always. I do need to find the age of my fire adjuster thing, wherever I put it. Uh, it's been so long since I played this household, I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, so I can fix his age, but... Who knows where I put things, you know, over a year ago. And Lois, I'm going to have you put Yosef in his crib. And then it's going to be your turn to go out and just explore and look for somebody. Just somebody nice. It doesn't have to be, you know, the perfect guy, but just somebody nice. Uh, or you can get him a bottle. That works too. All right, let's see who is here. Anybody that might be interesting that is not a teenager. I think everybody that she doesn't know is a teenager, I think. Wait. Lionel, are you a teenager? I think you're a teen. Yeah, you're definitely a teen. Uh, I mean, that's fine. She can just grab something to eat. Or she can go straight to the bar. Yeah, just go straight to the bar. That's fine. <laughs> that's absolutely 100% fine. Uh... I think she just wants a drink after not being played for over a year. So go ahead and just uh, order something poured. It's fine. Um, yeah, maybe you should go to a different lot now. 
Uh, you can go to the park. We go to the park like every single episode. I need to get a new, a new place for the, my Sims to hang out. But you know, it's whatever. All right, and we are at the park, and I don't know if anybody is gonna be here that should be a good match for her. Yep, I'm not seeing anybody, because these two guys are teens. Um. I mean, this is still give me a place for her to get some like food, maybe some char royal catfish or something like that. Or she can swing. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna come show up, so we'll go ahead and just send Lois home. She's stinky anyways and very tired. And it's like nine o'clock, so yeah, she probably needs to go home. Not much happened, but oh, it's okay. All right, so we have Kurt Kennewall who wants to get a promotion. He does not work today, um, but he should have all the prerequisites to be able to get a promotion. So there's nothing we need to work on over there. And everything else he wants to do is just to be with his wife because, I mean, that's really sweet. And I 100% appreciate that. Uh, so just go ahead and clean up the house, Kurt, because also we can't pay the bills until your wife gets home. But definitely clean up the house. And Margarita is home. She got a promotion and she wants to take a bath, but I'm going to have her pay the bills first just so we don't get a repo man because that is just something that... Well, no, she can go take a bath, but Kurt definitely needs to pay the bills just so we don't get the repo man. We've had that happen enough in our playthrough uh, for me to ever want to see that again. All right, so Kurt, I want you to go ahead and give a back rub to your... Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. So they're going to go ahead and do this, which is great. Um, and then afterwards, uh, they can dance and hug each other and give each other back rubs. What's wrong with Yosef? Oh, he's going to fall asleep on the floor. Of course. Wonderful. All right. Well, he got one of his wants fulfilled anyways. That's cool. Uh, you can go ahead and pick up your son because he is... He needs to go into his bed. He needs to go into his crib. Please go ahead and throw him in the crib. And then you can go ahead and use the restroom and maybe get something to eat, actually. Who has the best cooking guy? It's probably Lois, right? I mean, one is not the best because Kurt basically has the same thing. I guess just eat some cake. All right, so Margarita wants to gain a body skill point and a charisma skill point. Probably for work. Yeah, she needs both. So go ahead and gra grab your uh, charisma skill point before you go to bed. And then Kurt, you can actually probably just go ahead and go to bed right now. Uh, yep, and then uh, here's Lois. She's very stinky and very tired, so we'll go ahead and just put her in bath, in the bath, and then to bed. I am going to go ahead and wake up Kurt here. I don't think it'll wake up. Yeah, it won't work, wake up Margarita. But I'm going to have him take care of Yosef real quick, um, change his diaper, and then maybe try to teach him how to talk because Yosef has that want. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we only have the one baby, so I actually have, you know, maybe have the ability to teach the kid how to do, like, the normal uh, toddler stuff. Uh, because I don't have time when I have twins, which is what I've had with, like, the most of the other families. So, yeah, let's go ahead and teach Joseph how to talk. So, Margarita's hunger was really low, and I went, she got up in the middle of the night to... One thing, use the restroom, and then also I was going to feed her, which is why I had the uh, the uh, charred salmon or whatever this is here. Um, and I think she's pregnant. <laughs> oh, boy. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, go ahead and put that away. Take a bath, and then... Oh, no. Please don't be twins if you are... Pre I'm 100% I'm sure she's pregnant, because you don't get that without being pregnant. But... Ugh. All right, so Yosef no longer wants to learn to talk because he is bored, which we probably actually need to buy him something to play with. So go ahead and get him a bottle, and we'll get him uh, a teddy bear of some kind. Uh, what kind of teddy bear? We'll get him the bunny. We'll get him the bunny, yeah. That's fine. It's not in front of a phone or anything, is it? No, good. So we got that. He'll eat, and then he'll play, and then we can finish working on teaching him how to talk. Yep, and there we go. Well, Margarita is pregnant, so 
she's going to be home for a while, for at least today. Now, Lois, I am going to have you uh, change into your everyday clothes, please. And then I'm going to have you go to it a lot. And, you know, why shouldn't we just go to the gym? We don't need to go there to work out. There's a pool there. And, you know, who doesn't want to just swim in a pool? So let's go ahead and walk her to the gym, which is right there. The Maint Street Gym. I still haven't fixed the typo because I am amazing, you know. All right, so this is the Main Street Gym. I'm pretty sure this is the very first time that it's been uh, shown in one of our videos. So that's cool. Uh, there's Matthew Smith, who should not be here. Uh, we should probably spawn the adjuster and fix this. And that should get rid of all the people that I don't want, hopefully. Yeah, go ahead and get yourself something to eat. That's kind of another reason why I was okay with you coming here, because I knew you could grab something to eat. Uh, then you could probably, oh, I was going to say, then you could probably swim, but I was afraid that I didn't put in a ladder. I did. I'm not in totally incompetent. Uh, but then, yeah, this is our gym. I think it's actually kind of a nice gym, if I'm honest. There isn't a whole lot of detail to it, but I think it's kind of nice. I'm really bad at building in The Sims 2, so I'm proud of this, as bad as it's going to sound. Uh, what are you going to buy? You're just browsing? No, you can go ahead and buy something. Buy some uh, crinkle cut chips. Uh, is there any oh, wait. There are some guys up here. Okay. So, here's Ethan uh, Jellius. I want you to go ahead and greet him. And if you don't like him, we can talk to... Actually, no. She can just come up here. All right, come up here real quick. Up oh, and lag because... Good witch! So go ahead, ride the elevator up. I guess Tiffany's going to come up with you. No, she's not. Good. Oh, no. Vernon, hold on. Vernon, don't go down yet. Okay, I want you to scope the room out. And anybody. Nope, not really. Well, shoot. Uh, can you go back down and talk to Vernon? Like, go ahead and greet him? Because maybe you just didn't, like, catch him in your vision or something. Which it's actually probably... Oh, uh, I think Vernon's going to leave. Darn it. Yeah, he's going to leave. That sucks. That's fine. Well, maybe you can talk to Ethan. I'm pretty sure... He, yeah, that's definitely it. Oh, where are you going? I guess you're going back up the elevator. Up and down the elevator. That's what this entire adventure is going to be, apparently. Alright, so go ahead and talk to him. See what he's like. See if you like him or anything like that. I think Lois is straight. Oh my gosh, no! Stop, Ethan, stop. Ethan, please. <laughs> we don't want to go back down the elevator. So how tall is he? Uh, No, he's a teen. Oh, darn it! So Vernon was the only one we could have talked to. Oh, that sucks. All right, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Lois is straight, or else... Sh mm, I don't know, actually. Did anybody just walk in that we can talk to? Uh, talk to Stacy Erm. Um, I guess you're going to tell a joke to him. That's fine. Uh, can you move, Ethan? Thank you. You're going to fall backwards into the elevator if you stand like that. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> so go ahead and talk to uh, Stacy Erm. See what you think of her. Because I can't actually remember what... No, talk to her. Talk to her. Talk to her. No, she's another teen. Yeah, okay. What about... What about Harper? I wonder... What do you think of her? Yeah, you're not into her. Okay, that's fine. And Dennis, you're not attracted to him at all, which is also completely fine. Yeah, but you know what? That's fine. You go for a swim. You know, it's, it's like fall, but it's an indoor pool, so I think you're fine. So yeah, just go for a little swim, and then see if anybody else shows up. Okay, okay, there's Barry uh, uh, Faliku. Go, please, go and greet him. Please go and greet him. Uh, you're in your swimming suit. I'm sure that's going to be fine for a first encounter. Uh, talk to him, see what he's like, just so we can see if you, you know, may possibly be compatible with him. Uh, check him out. 
Oh, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, go back and finish your chips. And then we'll probably send you home, actually. All right. And we are home. And, well, please, Kurt, put your baby in the crib before he falls asleep. I know that he is going to pee himself in a second, but that's fine. I would like, I would really rather you put him in the crib first. Please. Please. Sable. Alright, now you can go ahead and go to work. Kurt and Margarita. Oh my gosh, this house is a wreck. Oh gosh. And this isn't even from you know, having the baby. This is just, it's a messy house. So go ahead and wake up and clean up the house. And there we go. Yosef now knows how to talk, so he's got that one in at least. That's a lot better than the last families we've been playing. <laughs> Alright, so Margarita, go ahead and use the restroom after you clean up the diaper and go to bed. Kurt has returned home from work and got his promotion. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So everything is going great in this family. For once, we have a family where things are going amazingly. <laughs> Alright, so... Kurt wants to buy a birdcage. That might actually be something kind of nice, something different for a house to have. How much are they? Uh, 500 simoleons? Absolutely. We're going to get a birdcage. Uh, we're going to put it right here. There we go. Uh, there's no bird in it yet, but we have a birdcage. Um, we need to play with a bird. So we're going to Oh, the bird is 400 simoleons, though. We'll get that after a bit. <laughs> All right, and Lois is home. She needs to clean up this mess, please, immediately before we get, uh, you know, bugs. And then, Lois, you can go ahead and get something to eat, and... Oh, it's another teen. And then, I don't know, maybe call somebody on the phone. Who should you call? Um... I don't even know. You're not really friends with anybody except for maybe Nigel. You could probably call Nigel because I think he would appreciate a call. Actually, you can talk to him first since there's somebody calling on the phone. It might be him, which would be cool. Oh, and Margarita got her second bump. Um, it's actually Jorge. No, actually, I don't want to go into downtown because there is no downtown. Uh, but actually, if you want to become friends with Jorge, go ahead. Because that will actually just help our, uh... Yeah, here he is. It'll actually help our household uh, for, like, careers and stuff. Alright, so, Margarita, I am going to... Oh, hold on. Go ahead and eat something, Lois. Margarita, I'm going to have you change your son's diaper. Go ahead and change his poopy butt. And then put him... Well... You can get him a bottle, and then you can put him in the crib afterwards. Actually, you probably should go back to bed. Uh, Kurt, I want you to wake up, too. And then Lois, um, you can go to bed. Yeah, you have nothing else going on. Maybe throw away the diaper. I don't know. All right, Kurt, I'm going to go ahead and send you back to bed. It is fairly early in the morning, but you do you do work today. And I'm pretty sure that your son is going to, or your son or daughter, I don't know what it is, will be born here in a, a very short amount of time. And then we can name it and we'll probably end the round. Uh, for whatever reason, probably because I had to uh, stop Sable from being a menace every two minutes, uh, but playing two days in this household uh, it took longer to record than all four days of the Rosen household. <laughs> I mean, it, it, part of it is because there's so many Sims in this household, but also just my little child is a little terror, but right now she's asleep, so... <laughs> All right, Lois is up. She has to use the... Or not Lois, but Margarita is up. She has to use the bathroom, but her sister-in-law is there. So just go ahead and munch something while you wait there, Margarita. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got the baby coming. Uh, get out of the bathtub. Nope, get out of the bathtub. Oh, no. <laughs> is he going to be right? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, 
It's a girl. Okay, so what we are going to name them is Bailey. Little Bailey. So I think that's a cute little name that we have for our little daughter. Um, I love how Kurt was naked for the birth, but put on his pajamas in order to eat his chips. I love that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is the, uh, the, we're on the third day now, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been Mathis Irindil, and I will see you next time. Hey everyone, Mathis Irindil here. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like or a subscription on the channel, or both if you want. Or if you wanted to support me even more, maybe monetarily, I do not have a Patreon or anything like that. However, I am a storyteller and an author, uh, which might be evident by the type of videos that I make on this channel. I've written a story called Immortal Colors, which is on Amazon right now. It is a modern-ish fantasy story that takes place on an island away from uh, civilization, where there are different clans that try to work together to uh, sustain life on the island, but there is also some uh, shady stuff going around on the island. Um, if you don't want to support me that way, absolutely fine. Like I said, a like or a subscription would be great. It helps out the channel so much. But uh, thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.